There is an epidemic sweeping the Americas, the Western world where racism is a foundation built by our forefathers, a legacy that is still carried, a land where injustice runs through the veins of every city and the roads we walk on were built in the blueprints of white supremacy. They piggyback off oppression and they feed off slavery using Chinese bones and 10 cent wages to build these brittle railways or using Aboriginal tears to wash out the writings of their own history and we only pay respects after centuries when the native tongue has become too hard to speak and their bloodlines tainted and their lineage bleached only now does society want to hear them speak we are eager to hear them shout when voices of color have been silenced for so long and I think it's because the headline Native American reparations finally rolls right off our colonized tongues or has it finally been tweeted enough because in the Western world we have a tendency to pick and place in pro pick and place importance on problems we deem catchy enough to be hashtags and taglines and headlines and broadcasts and we only face issues that are thrown at us and enough points to be paraphrased but we start turning cheeks when there's issues to what the trends can no longer solve we start batting our blind eyes to problems hashtags cannot stop and we start turning our backs when victims fall under mahogany on the color palette why do we normalize death and allow blood to look normal when paired with burnt sienna skin as if terror can only affect white citizens as if a London bombing was a worldwide crisis and the death of Middle Eastern children wasn't deemed worthy to be your headline and I'm not asking you to pity them I'm asking you to notice because in the Western world is a place that knows everything but acknowledges nothing we sweep missing indigenous women under rugs and we hide police brutality deaths between celebrity gossip headlines and we allow terms like Islam and terrorists to be synonymous and never use our place of first world privilege to speak on it but we only pay attention when it's mentioned enough on Twitter, the Western world, where retweets are more important than responding, where we keep up with Kardashians but will never keep in touch with refugees. We are, ma we are masters of isolations. We have tuned out cries of third world screeches like band practices. We have adjusted every major and synchronized every harmony until our ignorance was deafening, allowing the blood of children to bleed in silence. We have built walls and burnt bridges built between us and the less fortunate. How do we manage to be at peace when the rest of the world is in shambles. And I can't help but fall guilty, accustomed to this lifestyle, I forgot how the rest of the world was living because I walk so graciously in $200 shoes, I forget people have holes in theirs. I sit so comfortably in these name brand jeans, I forget people don't have clothes to wear. I admire starlit skies and forget people have bombs dropping from theirs and suddenly potholes and bumpy roadways pale in comparison to bombshells in schoolyards. And my crowded bus is nothing compared to streets filled with dead children and my homework is no chore once I realize people have to check dodge six o'clock bombing off their to-do list there was an epidemic sweeping the Americas what selfish is a plague that almost all of us are guilty of too busy obsessing over what's in and forgetting what's happening outside of pop culture there was an epidemic sweeping the Americas where our ignorance is our bliss and it's just so damn comfortable where we sit at the top of the pyramid watching the world wither while we rest in our silence. There is an epidemic sweeping the Americas. Poetry. Poetry. Two, three.